He's ESPN's preseason power rankings are out. And no surprise, last year's Super Bowl winning Patriots are at the top of the list. Now rounding out the rankings are the Chiefs, Saints, Rams, Eagles, Bears, Colts, Cowboys, and Browns in at number 10. Outside the top 10 are Stephen A's Steelers. And so glad to continue to have Marcus Spears continuing to be with us on set. But I'll start with you, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. Should the Steelers be ranked in the top 10 ahead of the Browns? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, look, man. And all all y'all make me sick, man. All of y'all make me sick. I swear. I swear about this. Now, I'm not, I'm not going out like that with my Steelers, man. Look, the going Browns. Out just like look, that. Look, look, look. The Browns <laughs> haven't done a damn thing yet. Nothing. They look good on paper. You understand what I'm saying? They look good on paper. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, but, man, oh, man, oh, man. They look good here. They look good here. I mean, it's all special right here. But when the season begins, all right, and you got to go out there and perform, let's see what you do. It's Cold Lake here. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it ain't, it ain't South Beach. You know, you Odell looked good chilling with the with the fellas and stuff in South, on a boat in South Beach. What he do when he had to go to Lambeau Field six days later? Well, guess what? Lake Erie ain't quite Lambeau Field, but pretty damn close. Cold out there, you know that. You know that we've been in the NBA against cold out in Cleveland. <laughs> I love Cleveland. The fans are great. City's nice. The home has been damn too damn cold. You understand? It's a little bit different. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, I got all that. We have to make sure Kareem Hunt is going to be back eligible to play. We don't know. He's supposed to be back after eight games. We ain't sure. Nick Chubb, nice year last year. Expectations there. And Joku can ball. Jarvis can ball. Baker Mayfield, second year. There's film on that, brother, now. There's film on him now. So all I'm trying to say is this. Y'all say what y'all want. But I'm looking at my Steelers, and I'm saying, yo, Juju Smith can ball. Devin Bush, I like that draft pick, number one. They've been proving that defense. They got that Cass Stevens from the Chiefs as a cornerback. Joe Hayden, the boys, are still there. I'm looking at Juju Smith-Schuster. Yep. I'm, I'm looking at Cook. I'm looking I'm sorry, James Conner. I'm looking at Van, uh, um, uh, Vance McDonald as well. And I believe in James White. And not only that, the Steelers always find those receivers. Always finds those diamonds in the rough. No, there's not too many people that do a better job than the Steelers at that. Y'all sleep on the Steelers. Cleveland just Steelers got the hope diamond. What are you Steelers, talking about Steelers, diamond in Steelers, the rough? Steelers, Steelers are winning the AFC North. All right, look. Winning the AFC North. In, in 1960, the Yankees made a trade for an outfielder, left-handed hitting uh, outfielder, a real good young outfielder from the Kansas City Royals. His name was Roger Maris. And we care, we care about Because everyone was like, with that short right field porch boy, Roger Maris can really do some damage. In 1961, he set the all-time home run record, hit 61 home runs, one back-to-back -back MVPs. Right. Bad pitching. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Odell Beckham <laughs> Jr. is about to hit 61 home runs. Really? They just traded Roger Maris to the end. What? Look at Odell Beckham Jr. play. In a franchise that had become dysfunctional, for a, a, trying to catch balls from a quarterback who couldn't throw anymore and was inaccurate, behind an offensive line that was the worst in the game with no running game, Odell was putting up historically great numbers. At this age, you can't say we've ever seen anyone better at the position at the same age. And now he's going to a team with a quarterback who, as soon as they switched coaches off the back half of last season, was almost as good as Patrick Mahomes and all the significant yards per attack, all those kind of things. And you're putting him on the other side with Jarvis Landry, mm -hmm. and you got Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt and a real tight end in Njoku and a top 10 defense. Mm -hmm. Odell Beckham Jr. is about to hit 61 home runs in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. It's um, on. Um, can, can I say one quick thing before here. you go ahead? Go ahead. Um, uh, uh, last time I checked, Odell Beckham Jr., Max has been raving about the greatness of Odell Beckham Jr. for years. He's been talking about those 61 home run analogies, <laughs> which ain't a damn analogy, by the way. He's been talking about that for years. What's Odell's record in the postseason? And one with drops in five years. That's fair. The floor is yours, Marcus. That's fair. I can't believe you. <laughs> I cannot believe you for jumping on this bandwagon, seeing what Mike Tomlin has done with this football team all these years. Last year they imploded, and they were two games away from being in the playoffs. They imploded and missed the playoffs by two games. That tells you a lot. Oh, by the way, everybody's talking about how good Cleveland is, and I believe Cleveland is good. I think they're going to be a really good football team. But you seriously ready to jump them over the Pittsburgh Steelers after – you know Shame Ben's the quarterback, you. right? You know, you. you know Ben's the quarterback, yeah. right? Shame on you, and, and, and how long – you know he threw for 5,000 yards last year yeah. during an implosion 
Okay. Okay. You know Juju Smith Schuster really elevated to the number I think one he's receiver. Number one. Yeah. Right? He I did. Think he's a legit he did number that. one. Yeah. You know TJ Watt on the other side was one of the best pass rushers in the league. Okay. You know they drafted Devin Bush. Mm-hmm. You know that. You know all of these things. Yes. And you keep talking about the Cleveland Browns like they gonna run away with this 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 division no. like Mike Tomlin ain't coaching and Ben Roethlisberger ain't the quarterback. No, no, no. I respect Pittsburgh. Max. Pittsburgh you can cannot, be a solid team, but you can't base the Cleveland Browns on the fact that Odell Beckham Jr. showed up to the Cleveland. Wait, Browns. wait, wait. You can't wait, wait. base they it on that. They were seven, eight, and one with a tie against Pittsburgh hold last on, year. Hold on, hold with on, Hugh Jackson hold not on. winning a game in hold the first on. half of the season. You know, six of them games came against teams that didn't have winning records. I understand. Right. Yeah, I understand. Oh. But they had a coach who th- there was nobody open I, the first half of the year. And Freddie Kitchens was coaching running backs last year. Okay. Let's. Let's just actually I, my number five, one four games in. I, I want to see. Number, okay, my number one concern is actually the trade of Zeitler off the offensive line. No He's doubt. one of the best pass blockers in the league. Let's see. I mean, it's not like there are no concerns about. Cleveland, Here's the deal. But are you with Cleveland making the playoffs? Yes or no? They're I'm with Cleveland playoffs? making the playoffs. Me too. I'm with Cleveland. They're gonna win a playoff game. Yes or no? That's what I got to do. Me too. I think I, the, I a push see that. is if they make the playoffs, I they see win that. a game. I, it's a successful season. I, I think they will. I think I just lost my mic. I made a statement this morning that it was a bust if they didn't win one playoff game. And it, it's a culmination of a lot of things. Like, people hear it and say, oh, this dude's stupid. It's a failure if they don't make it to the second round of the playoffs. No, winning one playoff game good. is success yep. for the Cleveland Browns. Missing it is major failure. That's right. right? So, people are only go because he of what the, this team got are the standards the any, Wait, are the standards by any way, different for way, Pittsburgh? By the way, fairness, to, right, fairness to you, the Browns were 2-5-1 before uh, Hugh Jackson got yeah. by you, Great points. But, Max, you can't jump on this boat yet. I'm this game boat. is different. 